You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. As the appeal hearing of Q Sampon continues, survivors of the Khmer Rouge say they trust the kingdom's laws to deal with him. Sampon is the last surviving henchman of Pol Pot and is appealing his life sentence for genocide and crimes against humanity. The appeal hearing has stirred up bitter memories for those who survived the Khmer Rouge, but they've told EAC News that the law must take its course. They spoke to EAC News reporter Ray Osoko. Three women have shared their stories how they survived the Khmer Rouge regime. They mostly remember the starvation and the punishment if they didn't work hard. That was the time when Kia Sampon, Pol Pot's last henchman, was head of state. They say they followed the laws of Khmer Rouge in order to survive, and so this time, they will let the laws of the kingdom punish him. They say Sampon deserves to suffer. 78-year-old Yin Lip was a teacher during the Khmer Rouge. She says she was very careful in everything she did in order to stay alive. Kyo Sampon deserves what he gets now. He is lucky that our government didn't execute him. I'm glad that our government now has a heart and didn't punish Sampon the way he did us during the Khmer Rouge. Another survivor, 57-year-old Niang, was a child during the regime. She still remembers the feeling of starvation. As what I can see, according to what he did to all Khmer citizens, it was too much. He deserved to be punished by life imprisonment. I would be happy if the government rejected his appeal. 61-year-old M7 says she worked hard on a farm to be able to get food. Life was not easy back then. They only gave us a cup of rye for three people. Now, as a citizen, I don't know what to say. I just follow the law and the decision of the government because at that time, I live under the Khmer Rouge law, doing what they told me to do. These women say that working hard and following instructions were the most important things to do during the years of the Khmer Rouge. But now, they say they support whatever the government and the law will decide regarding Kiyo Sampon's appeal against his life sentence. Most of the Cambodians we spoke to told us they are content to leave it to the kingdom's law, the ultimate fate of Kiyo Sampon. While the horrors of the Khmer Rouge are still fresh in their minds, they say they followed the laws at the time, the reason they are still alive today. Reyes Soko, EAC News, Pinumpen.